I lead PwC's capital projects and infrastructure business across Asia Pacific. The APEC CEO Summit in 2014 suggested that the private sector would spend approximately $56 billion on infrastructure in the next three to five years. In our recent PwC Oxford Economics report called Outlook to 2025, we've estimated that approximately $9 trillion per annum will be spent on infrastructure globally by 2025. That is up from $4 trillion now, or in 2012-2013. Asia will grow the fastest of all the global economies in infrastructure spend at between 7% to 8% per annum. By 2025, we expect Asia Pacific to be spending approximately $5.3 trillion per annum on infrastructure. In terms of the implications more fundamentally of the long term for companies, there are a few mega trends that I think we need to be aware of. Firstly, there is a very heavy focus across our emerging markets in Asia on transport and utilities infrastructure. Whether it be roads, rail, light rail or metro, one would also expect there to be investment in ports and airports as can be seen in Singapore, Indonesia, China and other parts of the Asian market. Healthcare and education will become more and more prominent as our economies become wealthier. The emerging markets around Asia have young, young populations with growing wealth. They are also very mobile. As they grow in wealth, so they will demand better healthcare for their families and better education for themselves and their family and their children.